Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys are doing well. Today, I thought we could keep it a little bit more casual and give you guys an update on my books. This is where I'm housing my Hobonichi Weeks, which is my special interest. And then this is the Midori B6 Slim Notebook with the grid paper and I've been using this as my reading journal. Reading journal is going really good. I actually haven't updated many of these pages because I haven't needed to yet. Every book that I have read so far in January, I will just draw a mini cover and do a little um, review or write my thoughts down about it. And so this has been nice. It's been fun and it hasn't been too hard to keep up with. Some of my covers, not great, not my best work, but um, it's been fun. So reading journal is going good. And then for my Hubenichi weeks, this has also been really good. And I've almost been more excited to use my weeks than my cousin lately. So, so far I've been able to start filling out my yearly index. So I'm using this to track books that I've read. So every time I finish one, I will color in a book. So this has been really nice. And then my monthly calendars are also going well. I'm tracking books, art, and YouTube stuff on here. So this has been pretty simple um, and pretty easy to upkeep. And then my weeklies. I really enjoy these weeklies. Again, the week size is just such a small and cute size. It's really easy to upkeep, I think. And so um, this has been really fun and I've been trying to do some painting in here. I've been trying to um, put as much little art as I can in these, but mainly just talking about um, the media, YouTube stuff, and books that I've read, um, special interests, what I'm enjoying this week. And then if I can draw them out or do some sort of art that kind of relates to those things, then that's what I've been doing. This book has been going really well. And then I just use these um, pages in the back for YouTube video planning. So um, that's been going well as too. And it's nice to have a designated space for my video concepts. So that is week's book. And then now we'll get into my cousin. So this is the spring edition. So I'm still in my 2023 book. In hindsight, I probably should have my week's book being, I should probably have my week's book being I talk. Probably have my week's book be my um, spring edition and then the cousin as the yearly just because they have a lot more options for the January to December books versus the weeks. So um, I've almost completed this book. We're getting towards the end, which is pretty exciting. I only have about that much pages left to fill it out. I wasn't planning on being in this book until the end of March. So a few months ago, I actually went in here and was just experimenting with some stuff, which I kind of wish I hadn't done because now I have to like use these pages as is, but it's fine. Yeah, these have been my past couple weeks and my cousin, um, some little naked ladies. I haven't really been in the mood for art lately. I live in Colorado and we had like a week or like three to four days of just negative. So I think the lowest it got here was like negative, uh, maybe like nine or 10 degrees Fahrenheit, which was like super cold. So I just haven't really been in the mood to do a lot of art. I've just been kind of like bundled up and cold all the time. Um, but these have been the past weeks and then this is our current week. So it's actually Friday today and you guys will be seeing this video tomorrow. I have been thinking about my um, weekly schedule and the things that I want to improve or what works well versus what doesn't work well. And something that I have realized about my weeklies that I would like to improve is my um, like running to-do list. This is the Alistair method if you're familiar with it, but I put my work tasks and any personal ones in this kind of running list for the week. And I always keep them in this far right column, either on the top or kind of the bottom of the page. And I love having that list. The only issue that I kind of run into is that since I only have this small column, 
I will shorten my task or thing that I need to get done. And sometimes I have no idea what I'm talking about because I couldn't actually write out like my whole task that I needed to do. So I just need a little bit more space here. Other thing that I really want improved in my weekly setup is the events and appointments that I've had coming up. I usually refer to my monthly calendar when there is something um, like an event or I have a coffee date scheduled or a doctor's appointment. I usually keep that information here and then I will refer to it and just remind myself. But my schedule has gotten a lot busier and this monthly spread is kind of chaotic looking. I have wanted to incorporate those appointments and events somewhere in my weekly spread, but I don't want to disrupt my journaling in here. So I've been trying to think of a way on how I can do that. I started dabbling with the thought of going into the A5 day free. And in the day free book, it has all the calendars, it has the index page and all of the monthly calendars. But instead of having weekly or daily pages, it just has blank daily um, pages in the back. Part of me was thinking that instead of getting another cousin this spring, I could get the Hoganichi day free and then I could just make my own weekly spreads. The day free has 171 blank pages in the back. So if I drew in 48 weeks or around that number, I would have about 130, 120 blank pages to do my journaling and stuff, which I think is the perfect amount because this book is getting chunky. She's pretty big and she's pretty thick. Um, and so I was thinking if I downsized a little bit, that might help, especially because I have been using a weeks. And so a lot of the stuff that I was putting in here, I am now putting in here also. So I have the opportunity to size down. So I started experimenting with making my own spread and in the day free planners, they have the quotes at the bottom still. So I won't be able to draw in weekly spreads that go all the way to the bottom. So I experimented on some of these back pages and I came up with this layout. So on the left here, I stuck a little section that has Monday through Sunday, and this is where I will put those events or appointments just so I can have a quick look at it. And then I can have my personal to do's or my habit tracking right here. And then I have my daily journaling. And then I kind of wanted to switch up the layout. So I thought that on this right page, I could draw horizontal weeklies instead. So I could have a little bit of both. And then that leaves me room at this bottom here to do my running to-do list for the week. And I have all this extra space to actually write out the entire task. So I know what I'm talking about versus like these really shortened versions. And I actually like, really like this right now and I don't know if I like it because it's just new and different but I have been using it um, along with my normal weekly layout and I find myself turning to this one first to fill it out before I actually turn to my real weeks and again I don't know if that's just because this is something new but I actually really like this and so I'm kind of leaning towards buying a day free Hobonichi for 2024. I like the idea of building my own layouts for the year. And if it is something that I decide to do and I decide to get the day free, I'm just gonna have to sit and draw out the layouts like kind of all in one go because I know it's something I'm not gonna wanna upkeep and have to draw out every single week or month. So that's something that I've taken into consideration. And then I also have been um, trying different pen colors. So. Right here, I tried just my black regular pen, but it's a little bit more like abrasive compared to this like kind of light gray bluish color that Hobonichi uses. So I did purchase a cool gray pen and I tried it again over here and I like this color much more. The only thing I'm trying to figure out for myself is if I want to write in my own dates and weekdays or if I wanna try some sort of stamp or something like that. I don't wanna do stickers because it's gonna bulk up my um, book super weird. And so I definitely wanna write them out, but just choosing the font is what I'm trying to figure out because one of the things I love most about Hobonichi is their font. It's something I'm super picky about. 
And so I don't want to draw out all my weekly spreads and then not use them because I hate my handwriting. So that's kind of the thing that I'm trying to figure out right now. And then one other thing that I wanted to do is I do like having a little calendar here in this corner and in the daily pages um, for the day free, they do not have the calendar. Obviously, it's just the quote. We have like a scratch Hobonichi cousin in our house um, that we, my fiance was using. And so I actually cut out the page of the 2024 little calendars because um, if you remember in the cousin, they have the current year, previous and um, 2024. So I cut this out and I'm gonna cut these out um, individually. And if I do end up using the day free, I will just glue these in start of each month in my weekly. Um, so that's something too, but that's kind of where my thoughts are right now. I don't know again if I'm gonna stick with it or if something new is gonna come out for spring and I'm just gonna ditch this completely. I don't really want to because I've actually been really liking it and it's been solving two issues for me. I also thought about just staying with a cousin and then just changing up my um, list right here because I can add a, I can add my events and appointments over here easy. It's this part that's like tripping me up. So I experimented this week and instead of obviously having it like horizontal, I kept the verticals and then just still put it at the bottom, but I don't like how this looks as much as I do with the horizontals. I don't know what it is about it, but I just really like this. So we'll see how I feel. I'm still gonna keep experimenting. I have a few weeks left to do this before um, Hobonichi comes out with the spring planners, but that is a little bit of an update. Um, I'll show you some of my daily pages. These have been going really well too. I've slowed down on these a little bit. So again, I don't need all these daily pages um, that I have left in here. Like I probably have a good 30 pages left. And so I think the day free size would be really fitting, but um, journaling has been going good. I've been a little frustrated with my art lately. So I've just been pasting a lot of stuff in. Um, but I do really like this painting of my grapes. Um, this is probably like my favorite painting in my book and I don't know why, but I just really like it. Um, and so journaling has been going good. I don't really stick to any sort of layout when I write. It's kind of just whatever I'm in the mood for and however to make it fit around any art if I do any. So that's a little bit of an update for my books. If you guys have any thoughts or opinions on the day free, um, I would love to hear them and I guess we'll just wait and see and once Hobonichi starts showing their spring launch um, It'll be a lot easier for me to kind of decide where I'm moving forward, but I think I'm really leaning towards the day free um, and I don't know I just really like this for some reason and I'm gonna keep trying it for a couple more weeks and see if that if that attitude or if that continues but it's kind of where we're at this week so we will just go from there but that is a update in my books i hope you guys are staying warm if you are somewhere cold and i will see you guys in the next video